Hi, welcome back to this tutorial. I made a navigation bar before, but I think his name is Bullet1959 or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, ask me, he wants to know how to make the drop down states on these buttons. So uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here in Fireworks. Uh, you can also do it in Photoshop, Dreamweaver, uh, you know, wherever, but you know, if you find a program you're familiar with, then I suggest stick with it, you know, so anyway. What you want to do over here is go over to where it says web, right here. Turn on the slice tool, or slice and guides, or whatever you want to call it. Go to our downloads button and click on it. I'm just going to nudge this over one, just so it looks a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Now click on it, and that little clock thing in the middle that pops up, click on that, and go to add pop-up menu. Here, you just type in whatever you want. Let's type in uh, L-I-N-K-S, links, one. I'm going to add two more states. One, two, three. I don't know state. There we go. Uh, let's click on that plus button to add states, and I'm gonna type this L I N K S links to. In here, I'm just gonna type L I N K S links three. Mine is acting up. I don't know why I make that one disappear, but anyway. And then L I N K S links four. Now I'm gonna create a sub menu for links four, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You guys will see what I'm talking about once this is done. So here, let's type sub or whatever. You get the general idea, sub one, then another one. I'm gonna do sub two. Two. For the heck of it, I'm just gonna do sub three. Now, there we go. Now, after you finish with that, you wanna go over here to appearance. And this is how it's gonna look when it drops down. A black in the background, a white text, and then when you roll over it, it's gonna give you this color right here. And I'm just gonna keep mine at that. You know, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to leave it. My text size is 4. And, you know, this is your rollover state. If you should change this, let's change this to rollover state to show you what happens. Boom. It changed my rollover state. But I don't want to change my rollover state. So I'm just going to leave it at that. There we go. And everything here is pretty much the way I wanted it. I'm just going to go over here now and type, go to advance. Here I changed my width to 130. And you might want to change from automatic to pixels so you can change it. You can edit it to 130. Border color doesn't matter because I don't have a border. I have my border right here at zero. If you want to use it zero, you might change it. Let's go to position. Uh, position here is where it says, how do you want this to appear when it drops out of your menu? How do you want this to happen? How you want to pop off to the side? You want to come down to the bottom, to the top, or to the top right? You know, but I want to drop down to the bottom. So I click on that one. It's the second one from the left. And your sub menus you can also change. I'm not going to mess with those at all I'm just gonna leave them so now we're done so click done and it should create your state on here my state doesn't show up for some reason sometimes so I'm gonna have to mess around with this a little bit to get it you don't have to do that I changed some settings and I don't know what I did so I'm just gonna double click this button you can follow along if you want and then go back out double click outside again and now it shows up my state. And that's what I have to do for it to show my, my, my drop down state that I created. So you can see those little lines. That's your drop down state. I don't know what settings I changed. I'm going to have to mess with that some, someday. Okay. Hit F12 in your keyboard to preview this in your browser. Now look what happened if we put our mouse on, the, on it. Boom. We have our drop down state. Our sub menu shouldn't be there as yet. So I have to go back in and edit this. I don't know why my sub menu is here. It shouldn't be that way. Oh yeah, I know exactly why it's like that. Let's show you what we didn't do, guys. Click back on the button. Click on that little menu uh, thing right here. Click on that and click Edit Pop-Up Menu. We got to click on this sub and click this little button out here to make it a sub menu. So click on that and click on that sub menu. Click on that. Click on that sub menu. Again, to make it sub menus. Then click Done. I might have to double click my button again and then double click again to get it back to where it was because my thing is acting up. Hit F12 to preview it and I'm going to show you the difference. Boom. Now we have only four links as you can see. One, two, three. Watch what happens when you go on four. Boom. It creates sub menus out here for you. And you can have as many sub menus. You can have sub menus coming out of four. Then you can have sub menus coming out of these menus. You can have sub menus coming out of those menus. It can, it can go on and on and on. So you guys get a general idea. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. I hope my little mistake wasn't didn't uh, mess you up a bit there. And if you have any questions or concerns, please send me a message. I'll be glad to answer them. So rate and comment on this video and also subscribe if you like it. Bye.